Good afternoon, Tigers, and welcome to Tiger Vision News for Thursday, March 7th. I'm Jake, and this is Addie. Thanks for joining us today. We wanted to give a shout-out of celebration to Ms. Johnson. Ms. Johnson was recently voted FMS Teacher of the Year by her co-workers. Ms. Johnson teaches special education and is really good at her job. Here's more. Hi, I'm Cooper here with Tiffany Johnson. What's the best thing about winning the FMS Teacher of the Year of the War? Uh, that my colleagues were the ones who chose me, and that is a huge honor. What is most rewarding about teaching? Um, seeing the students that I work with uh, make better choices. Where did you go to college? At Keene State College in New Hampshire. Why is it important to go to college? It's a great experience, and it will help you be successful throughout your entire life. Uh, thank you. Hi, I'm Cooper here with... Bailey. Cody. What do you like most about Mrs. Johnson? I like her because she is nice. She's very supporting and helps me with work when I need help. Thank you. I'm Cooper here with Mr. Jarbeck. How did Ms. Johnson receive the Teacher of the Year Award? What was the process? Well, uh, her peers, her other teachers, all voted on Teacher of the Year. Anybody in the building uh, that's a teacher can win. And uh, she received the most votes of anybody uh, from for Teacher of the Year. What would you like to say that's special about Ms. Johnson? She's an exceptional educator. I think probably her best attribute is just she's got a beautiful blend of the tough kind of love that the kind of kids she works with needs. You know, she works with um, with special kids in our building, and she's uh, very, very loving. There's no question the kids all know that she she loves them, but. She's very tough, and I think that that blend of, of toughness and lovingness is a real special quality, and, and she's just very, very good at what she does. She's got a tough job, and she does it very, very well. Thank you. On Tuesday, Mr. Jarebeck spoke to all our 7th graders about making course choices for the next year. All middle school choice sheets are due before you leave school on Friday. Make sure to get them filled out and turned in. All 7th graders that plan on either being in broadcast, yearbook, or library aid must have their applications turned out and filled in by March 22nd. If you have a broadcast application, you need to turn it in to Mr. Fulbright's room in 706. Yearbook applications need to be turned in to Ms. Lowry, room 503. And library aid applications need to go to Ms. Ammons in the library. That's all the announcements we have today. Let's check in with Cooper and see what's in our weather forecast. Hi, I'm Cooper here with your weather. Current conditions right now are 65 degrees, sunny, with wind south 15 miles an hour with no chance of rain. Regional forecast, it's pretty clear throughout our area. Five day forecast, you're gonna see some pretty much, pretty hot, pretty sunny. Thank you, back to you. Thanks, Cupper. Now let's take a look at sports. Good afternoon, Tigers, I'm Zach, and this is Jacob, and here's a look at today's sports. There's a big basketball game coming up tomorrow. Yup, it's the boys versus the teachers. They're bo they both think they're going to win. Take a look. Now, I don't even know why we're having this game because we're going to cremate those students. You know, we're going to stuff them on one end. They're going to steal the ball. We may even get to slam dunk a couple, okay? But the kids were crying like little babies. Oh, let's play basketball against the teachers. So you know what? We're going to do it. You better be there, watch us. We're gonna cremate those kids so when the kids go home, they can cry all of spring break about how a bunch of old, fat teachers whipped them in basketball. Okay, so bring it on, everybody, be there. While we're playing the teachers Friday, Coach Stoker will be going on lockdown. He'll probably be throwing up after 10 seconds of playing, you know, because he's out of shape. Coach Havens, too. But both of them are gonna get a big ol' Stuff and no soup for them back into their faces. Thank you. Now let's talk about Trip for a second. He wears purple almost every day. Purple is not a man's color. Okay? Well, we'll stop right there. But purple and Trip, no. Now, he said I'm, I'm going to be throwing up after 10 seconds. He probably hit that one pretty accurately. I probably will be throwing up. But guess what? We've got other teachers over there. They're going to step in and take care of business. And Tripp's little purple wearing butt, he can't handle that. And I'll tell you this right now, I will give Tripp $50 if he thinks he can stuff me. If he, if he stuffs me during the game, he's going to get money. But if not, he's going to run some laps for me or something. Because Tripp, he can't keep up with me. He just can't do that, okay? Tripp, 
you got another thing coming, buddy. I'm bringing it. I'm going to bring it hard. Let's go. So, Mr. Butler, why do you have a fire extinguisher? I'll be needing it for the game. And why exactly would you need it for the game? Because I'll be on fire. Oh, that was a good one. Well, Mr. Evans, this is for you. Friday when we play off uh, with that awful shot, probably the worst I've ever seen. You jump about 10 feet in front of you when you get done shooting. I mean, with that, you ain't going to score any. And me and Fred here, we're going to put up probably about 75 each. I'm guessing the score is probably going to be about 150, you think? 150? 150. 150. We got you, teachers. You might as well not even show up. You better start stretching now because it's going to be a long, long day for you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Kobe, do you, do you even know how to play basketball? You probably know how to play Quidditch. You look like Harry Potter. All right, when I see you on the floor, you better run away because I'm going to stuff the ball right in your face. They sound pretty confident. The game will start at 2 o'clock. Good luck to everyone that's playing. Let's look to today's sports. Back to you. That's it for today. Thanks for watching Tiger Vision News. Everyone have a great afternoon. We'll see you later.